video and I'm recording this one from the comfort of my own bed because I can't go to my office right now. It's too cold. I won't go into details. But anyhow, Steam Deck client has received an update which has fixed a lot of a lot more big picture mode issues. Now, if you don't know, if you don't know, um, Valve recently replaced the old big picture mode, which was designed for TVs, um, with the Steam Deck UI, which a lot of people are happy for. Um, those of you with big desktop tower gaming PCs, you want a more smoother big screen experience. You can now use the Steam Deck UI, which is I'm pretty sure everyone's happy about it. Um, also, if you if you dual boot Windows and Steam OS on your Steam Deck, and you maybe wanted a prettier interface on the Windows side, um, you could basically run Windows with all the support for games that brings, and also have it feel like you're you're using the Steam Deck or using the Steam Steam OS interface at the same time. So it's it's a dream come true. So, anyways, Valve rolled out a small stable Steam Deck client update, mainly focused on fixing the new big picture mode. This is where you can actually run it on desktop mode using the Gamepad UI launch setting. Now, there's a new launch setting as well, other than this, called Dash New Big Picture. So Dash New Big Picture. Um, Watch one of my old videos if you want to know how to do this, but um, it basically launches the the desktop client up in the normal Steam interface, and then once you hit that big picture mode, it then expands to Steam Deck UI. But here's what's changed. Here's, let's go to the change log. So the fixed Steam desktop client browser scaling changing when the new big picture mode keyboard or controller config are opened. So basically, yeah, there was scaling issues when you were opening the controller config, uh, controller or keyboard mouse and uh, keyboard configurator so that's good that's a little bug that can be annoying i guess um for the new big picture mode they've added a new startup movie for big picture mode so i wonder if we're going to be able to use custom boot animations with the um the new big picture mode kind of like we'd have on steam os on the steam deck fixed an issue with desktop version of remote play together dialogues being displayed well in big picture mode Mm, okay reworked gift spending page to be gamepad navig navigable okay that would be a little bit annoying if you were going onto the the gift spending page and you weren't able to use the gamepad that would break the experience wouldn't it fixed trackpad typing scale and standalone keyboard and desktop mode okay cool um i think i might have had that issue um with mine fixed issue where the main menu was visible after exiting and then re-entering big picture mode now that would be hell of annoying the fixed alone standalone the fixed standalone controller configurator showing the incorrect browser scale okay so that kind of ties into the first the issue up here in general and then stopped showing steam deck interst interstitial interstitial screens when in desktop mode no idea what that is um, Steam input, fixed issue with touch binding in as mouse mode releasing before the end of a swipe. Um, and since it's a stable update, you should be able to see it across stable beta and preview. So it's going to be across the board, um, which is kind of good. So there we go. Steam Deck big picture mode. What is, what do you want to see in the big picture mode? Are you glad they brought the Steam Deck UI to Windows to the desktop client of Steam? Is it something you're happy about? Or do you prefer the old big picture mode? I think the old big picture mode, it's been out for like 10 years, I believe. So um, it's about time they've changed it. And I think they've put all that effort into making the Steam the Steam OS inter user interface. So why not just pour that over to Windows, right? I was, I was elated when they released big picture mode, the new big picture, Steam Deck UI big picture mode um, on Windows on the desktop client, because finally I was able to navigate Windows on my Steam Deck a little bit more comfortably have it feel like steam os but also have the added benefit of having all the compatibility for games with anti-cheat and all that stuff so let me know in the comments what you think are you glad they're updating this are you glad they're they're really drilling in and just making the new big picture mode just that bit more user friendly for everyone and carrying over some of the big innovations they've brought over in the steam deck on steam os so i'm really happy about it anyways guys do you use steam do you use the new do you use the new big picture mode on windows on your gaming pc let me know down below anyways guys i'll see you in the next video hopefully i'm back up in my office and we you know i could i could i could make the videos a little bit more interactive rather than just browsing an article and kudos to gaming on linux again for the steam deck news and i will see you in the next video and like subscribe click the bell icon for steam deck content every single day on your youtube homepage peace out guys enjoy your wednesday or your tuesday it's tuesday today not wednesday